It was very heated as I was approaching the uh, conversation with Governor Schweitzer by this bison containment facility that is now behind me. Now, I actually got waylaid at the gate, didn't get allowed in for a little while by some personnel that were standing there, but then we did get in, got to see a little bit of a question and answer segment with the governor. Again, a very heated conversation. People started out on the defensive right away as they were turned away at the gate, not allowed to get near the bison containment facility. Rick Holden was one such person waiting there. He is out of Glendive, a farmer and a rancher in Dawson County. That kind of put up a barrier right to start with when uh, the Fort Peck tribes uh, were prohibited, prohibiting the public from even coming in near these buffalo to look at them. And later, the private landowner came by and allowed us to come in on on their property and then we were able to uh, meet with the governor eventually. He did come over and speak to the group. Linda Prescott is the landowner that is immediately adjacent to this bison containment facility. We're talking about a matter of feet. She is the one that led us onto her land so we could take part in this impromptu meeting with the governor. Now, Linda, while she is right next to this containment facility, didn't know the bison were there until she drove there herself. I had attended many of the meetings, like the one in Glasgow, and where they talked about a process being done to uh, translocate some of the Yellowstone bison. And they had uh, mentioned the Fort Peck tribes as one of the locations, but we didn't know an exact spot. Had no idea they were going to use a temporary enclosure prior to the, the permanent uh, herd being brought in. So when I went looking just on Friday for where the uh, permanent or the temporary closure was put up, I came across this one, which uh, is just uh, down the road from my grandparents' place. Uh, w we weren't contacted at all. There was uh, no one who spoke to us. And another thing that came from all of these landowners is that just because they're questioning this relocation, it does not mean that they disagree with the tribes having the bison. Um, I just want people to realize that this isn't uh, something against the Native Americans wanting to have buffalo. It's more against the fish, wildlife, and parks. Uh, we need to protect our livelihood, which is agriculture, and that's more so what, what we're here trying to represent. Russell, high emotions, but also good conversations. Thank you to Governor Schweitzer and those there with him for being available to the public.